What's up everyone, Maury Croson here with the Performance Lab of California and we're going to do another breakdown here today on Steve Young, a lefty. Gotta love doing uh, breakdowns on lefties and, and really one of the big things that stands out to me for, um, for Steve is going to be, you know, his ability to, to create a good amount of rotation, also be able to, to keep a good stable front leg and we'll just hop right on into the... Uh, into the breakdown here so um we can see that you know as he starts and I, I like this front view he drops that ball a little bit down um and then as he's coming through though he he does a good job of maintaining that that ball in a good position so he never really lets it get back behind his head as you can see he starts to rotate there um with the ball as he's um beginning the process of coming up now he gets his his hips to start rotating very very early in the throw which makes it so then he's able to open up his, his shoulders really well and, and normally I would say it's not a great thing to be able to open up the shoulders but what he does is actually very interesting he opens the shoulders up and then he actually um, stabilizes from there you watch notice how his left hand begins to raise up as he's coming through now this allows him to be able to maintain stabilization in the front um, arm so what ends up happening if you um, open up typically so much like how he does here is that it, it ends up being hard to be able to stabilize from um you know from from allowing that throw to be a little bit sidearm and he, he kind of has a little bit of sidearm notice how it comes off to the side a little bit there um but he's able to create a lot of wrist action because of his ability to go sidearm um and then with the whole thing with the left shoulder is by him opening up like that and then locking that hand in that makes it so then he doesn't end up overly rotating so he stops his rotation as he's coming through and that's another way that he's able to create that snap in that wrist so he's coming through here he's, he's rotating through with that that front arm now he stops that front arm from rotating by lifting up that right arm okay so he's lifting up there and then as he's coming through he's also trying to resist his arm from going out too out to, too far out to the side by really snapping that wrist through, uh, which helps him creating a lot of force and um, probably a lot of accuracy too, because he has a lot of control over the ball. So um, now we'll see from this side. Now you can see where he gets a a lot of ability to um, create rotation in his body. Notice how much pivoting he's doing with that that back leg, making it so he's transferring a lot of weight onto his. His front leg and then again like i said he's raising up that right arm as he's coming through which is making it so he's able to better contain that torque and then he uses a lot of wrists really strong hands probably probably pretty big hands too to make it so then he's able to come right through and really put a lot into the football okay so that's a it's a very interesting throwing release that he has um again very very rotational and how he does it now we're going to look kind of from the back here um but notice how you know he gets that his his weight going forward. I mean, he obviously is running forward, so he didn't have to do as much of a push off here. But he still gets that big amount of rotation. He's able to get a big amount of rotation here in that um, in that hip, and then by creating that rotation. Now he's able to just pull, and, and notice also again with that right arm. So he's pulling back with that right arm, okay, and he opens up big, and but then he stops that rotation by almost lifting up his his right hand to make it so he doesn't overly rotate, and again, and instead he just uses that energy by by stopping that rotation to really control that wrist and create a large amount of snap on the wrist, um, which ends up being a big part of his, his strength. Is he he's able to really generate a lot out of the wrist so for the the guys that are more of a rotational type throwers when you end up doing that you know when you end up creating a lot of that rotation what you want to do is you want to then utilize that energy into the wrist snap and really have have strong wrists so we got to definitely work on you know some wrist stabilization type exercises also the ability to have good mobile wrists those are going to be two key parts of being able to really um maximize maximize the throw and um the, the way you know that you're just a rotational thrower is just if you how soon you open up that front shoulder if you like opening up that front shoulder pretty early then you're definitely more of a rotational guy um if you like keeping that front shoulder a little bit more closed then you're not as much of a of a rotational guy more of just kind of um power lower body guy maybe use a little bit more stiffness in the front leg so um there's there's a lot or there's two um i guess different you know either rotational or you're not rotational as a, as a thrower 
Um, but and, and Steve Young is definitely a guy that's rotational, definitely a guy that has a lot of stabilization on that front leg, and that really helped him in being the, uh, the quarterback that he was able to beat. Um, so, yeah, guys, thanks, for, as always, for watching these videos. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me at Maury, M-O-R-E-Y, at yourperformancelab.com. Um, I would definitely check out our five-month online quarterback program down in the uh, description below to find out a little bit more about what it is that that, that all includes. It gives the, these exact same type breakdowns. Really, we want to help you become a better all, overall quarterback. The idea is we do all these breakdowns to um, not only give you a little bit more understanding of the throw, but also give – uh, more understanding for um, us and and um, our coaches to be able to, to better understand um, the throw and what it takes to be a high level quarterback. There's a lot of synonymous movements that we see um, within each one of the quarterbacks that um, ended up being you know top quarterbacks or even guys that are out of college going into the pros right now. And so we want to help you better achieve those same type of mechanics and also help you get the strength to get there. So we also have a customized exercise program for you to be able to. Um, follow again this is all based off what we're trying to work on within your throw so we'll work on core we'll work on ankle mobility balance we work on hip uh, mobility if that ends up being a, a thing for you for everybody we're going to work a little bit on shoulder strength uh, mid back um, lower back those types of things all need to be strong all need to be mobile they all need to be able to move correctly and so if we see anything in there that might not be right we want to be able to adjust it and help it help you be able to perform on just that much higher of a level so yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching these videos, and we will see you soon.